Hey guys, Daniel S. Vlogs here. It's been a while. Um, we're going to do something different today. We're going to test the new S10 Plus. We're going to do a full vlog with it. Uh, this is not a review. Um, you can check reviews on YouTube. We're not about that review life. We're about uh, vlog life. Now we're going to catch up with Sam and Will for lunch today. We're going to do a bit of a catch up. See what's been happening in the last couple of months. And um, we're going to have a good lunch. Catch up with Sam Will. And uh, we'll test the camera out with some photos and video. And um, we'll see you we go. Hope you enjoy it. Very nice. We are here in Docklands. We have William and uh, Sam, the man. The best. As I said, we are testing out the S10 Plus 4K front and back camera. Beautiful, beautiful day here. Not hot, not windy, not cold. Right on. Pretty uh, pretty dead here in Docklands as it always is. Um, William's been a been, William's been William as he always is. Sam is there, so we'll chat along. Do a catch up vlog as well. See where I've been hiding. So yeah, this is the um this is the 4K camera. Still trying to work out positioning. But yes, this is your 4K camera on the S10 Plus. Good quality, as I said, we're upgrading equipment here. A bit of the, the judders or the jitters here. We'll get um we'll get a, a gimbal, sorry, we'll get a gimbal eventually and um we'll smooth these bits out. But yeah, so this is the front camera and I will show you the back camera now. So this is the back camera. All right, again, 4K as well, 60 frames. A little bit technical in this video as well, so bear with me. I'll put it up also in the corner, which camera it is, so the boys are in front of me. Um, yeah, so haven't posted much since the St. Kilda vlog. Um, cars come in, so I'll get run over. I haven't posted much since the St. Kilda vlog. A little bit of stuff on the Facebook channel. We'll go in the restaurant, take some photos, take some videos, we'll give our um, food critic review. We have the best in the business, Sam Weller. Loves his meat. So, loves his food. So we'll uh, bring you that when we get there. Steak fries. Yeah. We want to make sure they've got vegetarian pasta too. Where are we, Sam? We are at Steakhouse Rule 66. It's pretty dead in here, but it was rated four and a half stars on Google, so I thought we'd give something different to go instead of the meat Wico. And we tried meat label last time, so now we'll try Steakhouse Rule 66 at the Docklands, New Key. Awesome view. to figure out what to get. It's the hard part. Double armor. Ooh, good options here, here and here. We're going to be reviewing this, Sam, are we not? Yeah. Critiquing? Yes. 
you get some stylus and get the mains and uh, hopefully it's nice. So what did you order, Sam? I uh, ordered a Scotch fillet, 300 grams, grain-fed, with steak fries. And uh, to start, we ordered the arancini, the calamari. And yeah. What did you order, William? Pork. Pork? Who criticizes me? Pork. I wanted to because you chicken. wanted chicken. He, I wanted because chicken. you wanted chicken. He criticizes me. Wanting chicken in a steak restaurant? Yes. And then he goes and orders pork. Yeah, that's fine. No. Not acceptable. Is that right, Sam? Be honest. Is that right? It's not right. So who is the right person here? Oh, me, oh, of course. Because he wanted chicken. Yeah. At a steak restaurant. Yeah. Be honest, Sam, don't lie. Nothing wrong with ordering chicken? That's fake vegetables? That's correct. No. You didn't want steak. No. Hip hypocrite. I'm correct. Of the day. I'm correct. This is William Devonish. Hypocrite of the day. The steak was nice. It was a bit thin, I thought. Um, had a bit of fat on it. Um, so yeah, probably not on the highest quality of steaks that I've had before. Not as good as a meat wine coat. Um, out of ten, probably about a five and a half or a six. Um, so pros. What are the pros? I think the size was okay. And uh, the chips were good as well. Um, that's about it really can ask. And what's the cons? The cons. Um, the sauce that came with was pretty small. It didn't really taste like mushroom sauce, it kinda of tasted like gravy. Um, so probably too watery. So we just finished from steak grill, steakhouse grill 66 here on the dock lands. Um, Sam gave his thoughts. William doesn't like my hand, obviously. So I'm going to give you my thoughts. Um, service, pretty standard. Wasn't too busy, it's alright. Um, price, a little bit expensive. Around the same with all the steak restaurants. Average steak's around $30. Plus your sides and your sauces are around about 40 bucks. <laughs> well, it's been a comp I can't... Alright, so we just finished Steak House Grill 66. So Sam gave his um, thoughts. I'll give you my pros and cons. So the pros, look, 
nice location. Hey Daniel, look at the view over there. Oh, it's really nice. oh go away, William. So the nice location. Um, service is pretty standard. wasn't too busy. We went on quiet time during lunch. Um, food was okay. I do not really rate the steak. I'm more of a thick steak. Yes, William, we can see you there. Hello, William. <laughs> uh, I prefer a more thicker steak. Just, uh, you know, that's just me anyway. So I think the steak out of 10, give it a, a four. Is that about how Daniel likes thick meat? I'm to say, for the price you pay at Steak Cow School 66, you might as well go to the Meat Wineco or Meat Maiden. And that, I do agree with Sam on that. So, yes, um, plenty of better steak places around for that same price. Um, check it out, but yes, out of 10, the overall package, I rate probably a five, which is not the best. The calamari was very, very, very salty. Chips were salty. The arancini balls were okay. A little bit spicy, which they were spicy ones. Wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, we tried it, we came, we raved. We've done that bit. Um, next one off the list. But yes, yeah, so our, our meat and wine co is always our go-to one because it just delivers on good quality and good service. So have a bit of a stroll um, through Docklands. And we get a coffee, get some gelati, and then we're done. So hope you guys like the sort of commentary, the photos, the video from the S10 here with the front camera here. And um, enjoy.